More state line students are heading back to class, including kids in Forreston and the Harlem School District. Our Blake Dietz went to Marquette Elementary in McChesney Park today. And Blake, I hear their classrooms look a little different than we may be used to. Yeah, that's right, Mimi. We've all heard of challenges that kids face today. Excessive screen time, shortened attention spans are just to name a few. As challenges have evolved, so has teaching. I spent the afternoon in one classroom at the forefront of redefining what a modern classroom is. How many things? One. One thing. School is back in session at Marquette Elementary. Third grade teacher Sarah Jacobson welcomed this year's class this morning into a room that may look far different. It's completely different from the way I started the curriculum that I started with 20 years ago. And so with the children, with our classrooms, with the buildings, with the expectations, um, things have kind of evolved. Um, and I just, I thought it, there needs to be different. We need to have fun in a very structured way. Exercise balls, floor mats, rocking chairs, high tops. There is no shortage of seating options in a classroom that looks just as much like a place to hang out as to learn. Marquette principal Brock Moreland says that's a good thing and something a growing number of teachers are embracing. We're slowly getting to the point where this is becoming more of the norm. Instead of you know expecting perfectly quiet classroom, there is gonna be some noise and that's okay, but not everybody's comfortable with that. Where a, a super quiet classroom doesn't always mean that it's the, a classroom that has the most learning going on. And that's a shift in, in thinking. All that movement and noise could seem disruptive, but Jacobson says she's had less behavioral issues since adapting her classroom. Those students who might need to stand while learning or might need to take a break or might need um, a, just a minute, they have the opportunity then to do that and not interrupt the classroom and not become frustrated and not become a disruption. Now we know kids need a lot more collaboration. They need more movement. They're spending more time in, in front of screens. And so this allows them to talk and collaborate with their peers that they might not be getting as kids 20 years ago did. Now Jacobson credits social media as being one of the biggest drivers of change. It's allowed teachers to collaborate and share what works for them quicker than ever before. Mimi. All right, thanks, Blake.